20 years ago, this was normal. On every street corner, outside every office building, even inside cafes, you'd see people smoking. But now, 20 years later, this is, dare I say it, a little bit disgusting. Culture changes fast, and right now, we're living through one of the fastest shifts, maybe the fastest shift humanity has ever seen. And that, of course, is AI. And here's the point. Nobody told smokers it was over. They just started getting left behind, quietly. And that's exactly what's happening now. So today, I want to share with you the five habits of the top 1% of AI users, the ones who are staying ahead, adapting fast, and using this revolution to create real leverage. These are not mind tricks, there are no secret prompts, and there is no crystal ball that I will unveil to tell you the future. These are mindset level patterns, and they all come down to one thing, agency. The ability to choose, to act, and to adapt deliberately in a changing environment. Habit one, see the shift. Let's start with a little thought experiment. Now, close your eyes, relax, and imagine you are a horse, a fine stallion. It's 120 years ago, and you are indispensable to humanity. Then the motor car arrives, and in just 20 years, you go from essential to irrelevant. Not because you failed, but because the world moved on. Now, in 1910, there were over 14,000 carriage-making companies in the US. By 1930, there were less than 100. That's it over 99% decrease in the amount of carriage making companies. And of course, if you extrapolate that out to all jobs across the horse industries, the results are remarkable. But here's the thing, here's the key point. The horses didn't do anything wrong. The fact is they just couldn't adapt. Now you, you can. Now let's think about Kodak. They actually invented the digital camera, but they didn't even lean into that shift. They tried to preserve what they had. That's not agency, that's fear disguised as tradition. Imagine unlocking the future of photography and then completely missing the opportunity to profit from it. This is obscene short-sightedness. Now, top AI users see the shift early. They don't wait for consensus. They don't wait for herd mentality. They move quickly. They build for what's coming, not what's already fading. And this is a key skill that can set you apart. Now the next habit, is number two, which is move before you're ready. Let me tell you a story. I was an artist, an artiste, if you will. I painted, I drew, I illustrated, I created odd graphic projects. And at one point I even sold abstract prints that now hang in coffee chains throughout Saudi Arabia. But one day, out of the blue, a friend messaged me. Check out this new tool, man. It's called uh, Mint Journey. So I was like, hey, why Why not? You know, I, I like to try new things. I am have an open-minded kind of guy. So I logged in. I typed a little prompt and I got out this image. And it was that moment that I froze. Because I knew this was different. This wasn't a new brush. This was a new era. Now I could have waited. I could have panicked. I could have doubled down on the old way. I could have resisted the change. Instead, I decided to make a course on this new tool on Midjourney. So I spent the next 48 hours creating my very first online course. And to be completely frank with you, it was awful. My microphone was far too away from my face. I had strange background music playing throughout the entire three hour course. But to my surprise, it sold. And it sold a lot. Over 10,000 people have now taken this course on Midjourney. Now, what the best users of AI do is they don't aim for perfection. They move, they ship, they deliver, and then they improve. And actually, this idea of moving before you're ready is exactly why I want to quickly thank today's sponsor, because they're one of the tools that makes this kind of experimentation possible. It's called Dreamina, and it's powered by their C-Dream 4 model. Now, this is suddenly a versatile image model that is very adaptable for different situations, everything from e-commerce to creating high fashion photography. Now, an interesting use case of this model is that you can upload six images and fuse them all together. Other AI tools can only fuse a maximum of three images. Just take a look at this example where I'm combining myself and a whole host of other accoutrements to develop this wonderful fashion piece. Now it also does particularly well at handing link fine details. Dreamina accurately understands both prompts and reference image style. You can also selectively edit specific areas you want, like in this example. I've selected the bag and ta-da, here's the result. 
But one reason why I particularly enjoy using this model is because it generates up to 4K images. Now, this is much higher than you will get in many other AI image models. Now, what's best of all is that you can try this out for free and every day you get some free credits that you can use to generate your own images to see if this is the model that you will be using. Now, it's extremely easy to use and all you have to do is enter in a prompt like this. I'll be using this prompt, create a cinematic poster of a futuristic sci-fi film entitled AI Samson with a man who is half man and half machine. Now, Dramina 4.0 is a great image model that you can try out for free today, giving you up to 4K images and handling everything from precise text to incredible combinations of different reference images. I'll leave a link in the description below so you can try it out for free today. And a big thanks to Dramina for sponsoring this segment of the video. All right, let's get back to habit three. Now, habit number three is to use fear as fuel. The moment when I felt that chill run down my spine after seeing that AI image. All I remember was fear, shock, and a moment of feeling insignificant. That everything I had worked so hard for was suddenly in jeopardy. That even my identity was being challenged. Everything I knew was obsolete. But fear is also a signal. It tells you where the energy is, where the growth lives, where opportunity lies. When you feel like the ground is shifting under you, good. That means you're in the right place. That means you're paying attention. The best creators right now, they don't avoid fear, they use it. Agency means doing the thing because it scares you, because it forces you to level up. And my motto is, seeing every challenge as an opportunity is the beginning of wisdom. And truly, if you take the opportunity to work on anything that challenges you and turn that into a way that it can be your greatest opportunities, this can be your defining moment. Now, let me tell you about Peter Levels. Peter Levels is a hero of mine and he's somebody who built a viral AI resume generator in just a single day. But the project I love that he created even more is called Fly Peter. And this is a quirky, pixelated flying simulator. And the incredible thing about this was it was built and coded entirely using AI. Now, it may look simple, the graphics may be fairly underwhelming, but this game is bringing in over $100,000 a month in revenue. Now, Peter recently tweeted that I've made over 70 projects and only four have ever made money. That's a 5.7% success rate, but that's all you need. Peter doesn't wait for permission. He ships, he iterates, he lets the market decide. And the products he ships aren't necessarily perfect, but they are profitable. And what I love about the works of Peter is that he makes the kind of things that others would dismiss as too basic, too playful, or too weird, or not good enough. And that's the same energy that happens behind abstract art. I used to create abstract art, and sometimes people would say to me, oh, anybody could make that. Anyone could have done that. And it's true. They possibly could have. But the point is that they didn't. Now we are entering an age of AI where we will have exactly the same criticisms come up constantly. Many people will say, oh, anyone could have made that project. Anyone could have made that. But the fact is that they didn't. It's those that do who are making the most of timing and opportunity that are going to prove everyone wrong. Next up is habit five, repeat relentlessly. I've had multiple failed YouTube channels. There was one about poetry, one about meditation, and one about behavioral psychology. All of these flopped, but I kept going. I tested, I shipped, I repeated, and eventually I found one that unified everything that I wanted inside of a project. It had topics that I were interested in, topics that I knew about, and there was market demand. Now the difference isn't talent, it's cycles. Let's look at another example. This is Room GPT. And one guy built this in 48 hours using open source models. The whole idea is you upload a photo of your room and the AI completely redesigns the interior. He launched it fast and it hit Product Hunt, then TikTok, and boom! Suddenly, one million users were using this tool that he created in 48 hours. Now, he didn't succeed because it was perfect. He succeeded because he was cycling while others were still researching. We're living in an incredibly opportunistic era right now because every week there are new technological possibilities. There are new projects 
that have the possibility to be made. Now, when a new technology comes out, there is a big gap between what the technology is capable of and what we have discovered it can actually do. And that is where your entrepreneurial creativity and your opportunity as a creator comes in. My invitation to you is every time you hear about a new AI tool, a new AI feature, or a leap forward in this technology, think deeply. How can we apply it? Because that's where real leverage exists. And that's where your opportunity to build something special, meaningful, and successful lies. So those five habits to remember, see the shift, be aware of your surroundings, make sure you move before you're ready and make the things that others won't. Repeat this relentlessly in cycles. And just like quitting smoking, this age demands clarity, courage, and decision. Because you are not replaceable unless you act like you are. If you enjoyed this video, watch this one next for more AI insights.